Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be telling you about a great application for your iPod Touch jailbroken. So, hang on, let me open up my iPod. Let me connect. I think that's my IP address. Might be wrong, yep, that's right. Okay, so the application which I'm going to be reviewing today is called QTweeter. It is a Twitter client, but like no other. So what you do is you swipe down from the menu bar, all the way down, and then up, up, pops a great interface for your Twitter, Twitter clients. Hopefully it should pop up. Is it going to? Yep, here it is. Okay, so here is my Twitter client you can then type something so I made this video before but I got interrupted so I'm gonna say filming video again and then you can update this message to Twitter or Facebook or both I'm gonna go do it just with Twitter for the moment so I click update status here and then it pops up with a little green arrow and it's done. So check if it see if it works. Shift Command R. There we go. That is just sent from my iPod and that is just appeared on Tweety. So that is the basic gist of QTweeter. Another great feature is because it doesn't let you uh, read tweets, other people's tweets, you can set it up so you can double click Twitter or double click Facebook to open whatever application. So I've set it up to double click Twitter to open up Twitterific. So I'm going to double click it. And then up, up I keep on saying up. Up pops uh, Twitterific. So here it is. There is Twitterific. So I'm going to close that and go onto the interface of QTweeter, the application, which lets you set the preferences. So you have Facebook and Twitter. They basically just set up your account there. You have TwitPic, so you can uh, say if you have a picture on your iPod, you can attach it and it will automatically upload it to TwitPic and have the URL on the tweet. You then have Choose Update Sound and have Flyby. So, oh, okay, that's why I, that song was playing. But there we go. You have that so um, that sound or none. You then have choose background, <laughs> and then you can choose your background. So when you drag it down, it changes the background. Then you can have choose your profile image, auto hide Q tweeter, help. I didn't mean to click that, but that's for help. And you also have registration because Q tweeter is not free. But I think you only have to donate, you can donate anything basically. But you have 7 updates left, you have I think 20 updates in the trial. And then you can probably reinstall it to get it working again. But you probably won't. And um, you can donate now, so you can donate about a quid. Really cheap and they'll um, give you the registration I think. And there you go guys, that is my review on it. it is, it's a great application, one downside you can't read your tweets but you can easily just work around that by um, linking that with Twitterific for another Twitter application so I hope you liked enjoyed this video guys 